Everybody, let's check in on my favorite former podcaster, Mr. Joe Budden, and what he was getting off in spaces this morning. I'll share some really, it may come off the wrong way. It may sound narcissistic, but I don't think any one man takes down Drake. I think that was a baton. I think I passed the baton to Push. I think Push passed the baton to Kendrick, and the job is done now. That's how I feel in my head and my heart. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> But that's you looking at that's looking at Drake as more than just a person. That's look let's get out of there now, because now people that guy was about to, he was about to spout like Joe Buttonisms to Joe Button. It was crazy. Um <clears throat> so let's acknowledge that statement for a second. This is just two folded. <laughs> two folded idea. First things first, that's a lot of respect to put on Aubrey. A lot of respect to just doing that True. one name. He said, yo, it it took three of us. It took three generations. And Joe thinking that he made a dent. It's hilarious. He also saw a tweet. Somebody tweeted and was like, somebody tweeted like, yo, Joe thinking he had effect on that shit is, ain't no, and none of the participants heard, none of us heard that shit. He was like, but all the participants did. Which feeds into what I said early in his beef. I'm like, you know, shout out to Kendrick. He won, but he was recycling talking points. Oh, yeah. He did. Oh, that's interesting. So I do think that. So in that way, you feel I, like. I think Joe knows that. I think Joe waited because. I posted a video a few days ago on our clip channel where I was like, Joe's um, is a biased mm-hmm. and there's no way he could be unbiased. There's no way he could be unbiased about this when like you also shot at Drake and you also still don't like Drake. And this kind of confirms it to me. Mm-hmm. Like you had a rooting interest. The rooting interest was you wanted him to lose. Yeah. You wanted him to lose because in your words, you were on the relay team. You, you passed the baton to push and push past the baton to Kendrick. Yeah. It was a 3v1 from his words. This is, I'm not. Yeah, no, that's what he's saying. I'm not making anything. They saying it was a it was a team effort. It was a group effort. Whether he's right or wrong doesn't matter, right? My issue with him is them him saying, going on, 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 a pod, on that same podcast and saying this. Know that any Drake news coming from you looks away now. Yeah, it looks us. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Uh, Ack is the one on stream yeah. during the NBA finals with the hacker dude on the thing, explaining to him, showing him the invoice. He's dropping names. Like, good journalistic shit you was doing, Ack, but you got to know that any Drake news coming from you is viewed through a different type of eye. Mm-hmm. Even if you just working off your own speculation, even if Drake didn't tell you shit, it comes off as a mission sent from Drake. And that could come off like. Mm. Joe. Joe Budden cannot. By the way, he's right. Yes, he yes. He he's I'm going to start by saying he's right. All Drake news now or Kendrick news looks different coming from academics mm-hmm. because you was on. Drake's side doing the thing. Yeah. Even though Ak, Ak is unbiased, he was like, yo, Drake Law. He's not unbiased. He's biased. But, but he's honest about his He's bias. honest. He's honest about it. He's admitted that Drake Law right? Joe Budden has been hiding his bias this whole yeah. time. Yeah. He hid it until, he, until it didn't matter anymore. I think Joe Budden is a sick nigga because I saw the bias last week when he was like, yeah, I, I knew he bought bots. <laughs> and then once yeah. y'all didn't care he bought bots, he was like, oh, I can say I, wa- I I I started I, this. I, I was a part of this. <laughs> I'm the first domino. I was the first domino to kill that nigga, yo. He's saying I wanted that nigga dead. There was no unbiasedness in any of that grading, which goes back to my point of how can a hip hop platform be that big and you hate the biggest guy? How can how can it exist? Now, it does work a little bit when you got academics and and Joe Budden, who are on opposite side, opposite side of the court. Yeah, yeah. But Joe Budden is so thick and phony. He'd be like, no, nah, I love Drake. I love Drake. He still tries to get that off. Stop and, lying. And there's, and there's people that truly believe that still to this day. Oh, it's just dick eaters. It's dick eaters. All right, listen, I'm so, I never, there's, there's a few people on the internet, all stands of anybody are Looney Tune. Kendrick fans, Drake fans, Joe Budden stands, believe it or not, he has them. Yeah. They're all Looney Tune. They, yeah. don't hear, they don't see logic. They don't see it. And logically speaking, this man always wanted Drake to lose. And I think, listen, he lost. I'm not trying to relitigate the, the battle. I'm just, I am commenting on how biased Joe Budden is as a commentator and how he's, he's a liar. He's a, he's a deceiver. <laughs> he, he's, he deceives his fans every time he turned the mic on. Yeah, that podcast, is. there's not a single bit of truth. 
in there in, in there anymore. Every time, every time, yeah, he fucking put his fucking little frilly legs up like this. He get on there, he be like, "Oh, y'all ain't know. <laughs> oh, y'all ain't know." With his ankle socks on. Oh, y'all ain't know. And his mirror hats. Oh, y'all ain't know. <laughs> With the funny hats. The funny hats and the ankle socks. <laughs> that shit don't bother nobody else, yo. Yeah. Snick, yo. Every more and more. You got to look at this man. And if you don't look at him funny. Take that butter meat out your mouth, dog. Mm. Take that butter meat I'm out your mouth. I'm it. I'm I'm buying that meat from your mouth. You talk by the way, you talking to a nigga right <laughs> nigga like me, I, I know his son. I've had his son on this podcast. Yeah. Me and me and his son have each other's numbers. We text every now and then. That don't mean I don't his pop's still a bitch. You know what I mean? His pop a nut. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> I'm serious, yo. Yeah, yeah. I'm not like yeah. I I can't I can't I can't pretend to yeah, I mean, like, see what it is. Yeah, you know, it, shout out, shout out to the stop. He's he's he he is oh, he's leading the charge. He's leading the. I've been, I was doing it the moment where Yamal left. I've been like, looking at this nigga funny style, and every 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 th- three months, I'm like, What's yo, my goat, on? yeah, goat is, is a here is a terrible human. <laughs> yeah, I should have known my goat was a terrible human when Charlamagne asked him, "Did you did you sit on at?" Did you sit on extra bastard breast? He said, I sat on her stomach. No, 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 no. I said under. Is there stu- he, Joe Buddy said, did, Charlamagne asked, did you sit on extra bastard stomach? He said, I sat under her breast. That's my, he was my no, goal. No, no. <laughs> yeah, but that was rapper Joe, yo. Nah, he the same nigga, yeah, yo. That's, that's a problem. He the, yo, you can't say that's rapper Joe when podcaster Joe's talking about some. I started. Yeah, no, he wants to be a rapper still. Yo. This nigga. That's why I heard him when Drake said what he said. <laughs> you failed the rap music. I think that's how he started off the IG comment. Yo, this nigga, this nigga got on that pod. That, that nigga got into a, a Twitter space and said, I was energized about the lemonade from his Drake. He basically said that, yeah. That's what he said. Yeah. He said, I was energized. Everybody was. You know what's interesting? And this is why, like, all media is funny in regards to Drake, because I think there's just, I think Drake has, Drake has some sort of relationship with every single person, every single, uh, uh person in media talking about him mm-hmm. i think that's the thing because it's it's a generational thing like drake became became a prominence around the time that all these people were around in hip-hop as they were coming up like in their you know late to late 2000s to yeah. early mid 2010s right yeah. like these all people they all kind of grew up with each other mm-hmm. and now drake is an artist still one of the biggest in everybody else's media so of course that's why i think it's kind of hard for anybody really currently in media the media that's popular right now to have some sort of unbiased take on drake and the drake kendrick shit mm-hmm. because they all have personal relationships with these rappers you know it will be like um if like 10 years from now dave blunt is running the game Right and, and like and like we're obviously gonna have some sort of bias because yeah. like he never came and sat down. Even no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have a bias. I mean, I'm just it. saying. I'm just yeah. saying. I'm not but saying you literally. Say, you saying like the perception could be seen that. Yeah, way. like I'm just yeah. saying like that would be the. That's I'm trying to make like an analogy here of like that would be the thing of like whatever personal relationship we we may have with Dave Blunt. And by the time he's on Drake's level, you know what I'm saying? Like we're still doing media. Then we're not gonna be fully unbiased because we remember who we just started. All these media personalities right now remember when Drake started. Mm-hmm. You know, they weren't even like that. They were still even trying to get started themselves. Mm-hmm. It was all very friendly, and then you know it got messy with everybody, from Rory and Maul to fucking Elliot Wilson. Like mm-hmm. all these people were around, and there's this weird like incestuous like fucking messy thing that's going on between all of them. So it's just that's why it'll never be uh, unbiased when talking about Drake. And it's it and it's and it's you know. Listen, listen. I'm on Kendrick Lamar's side. You know, I think Joe. I'm Bunny, on the side of the winners. They not like us, yo. They not like us. Yeah, I'm with y'all. They not like us. Um, but I am like y'all. I am like y'all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I am like y'all. What are you talking about? But also, hey. Joe Bud is not like me, yo. No, that's He's true. a lying manipulator. We're not. He's alike. a master manipulator. He got well, on that mic. You know, he got on that mic for three months and was like, "Nah, yo, I, 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 I yo, if I, if I didn't hate that podcast, I would go back and find a video when, <laughs> when, 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 when the like that just first dropped. He was like, 
We don't even want to hear Drake. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He That's how that. he started this. He said that, yeah. That's how he started this. Mm-hmm. And then he ended it with like, Drake ain't never have a chance. No, he said, why am I saying Drake never had a chance? Why you say something then? And then and you say all that in succession of each other within months. It's out there in the world. Then they say, actually, I passed the baton. I started this. I started this. It was a team effort. Yeah. Yo, stop. Stop talking. Nobody needs a Kendrick. It's me. It's I'm it's me. Are you it's you? me and Danny from the stop. <laughs> it's me and Danny from the stop. I want to get this nigga out of here, yo. I don't like the nigga, yo. I don't like the nigga. That nigga beat bitches, yo. Yeah, yeah it's fucked up. That yo. nigga beat, yo. You are you not like us, bro. You put your hands on women and you a liar manipulator. I'm not one of you Dominican bitches from the Bronx. You can't, you cannot manipulate me. <laughs> I see through it. I'm not a young, impressionable teenager anymore. I'm 26 years old, and I see through your bullshit, Joe Budden. <laughs> Yo, you hired a crisis management team to hide the fact that you, you beat on your queen. queen. You're mad at them. Yo, my nigga, you was in Times Square down on your knee to hear he walked away, and you got home and beat on her. <laughs> my nigga, you was a dust hair, bro. You was running around with rocks in your hands and a holy beater. Chasing Drake fan 2016. <laughs> I remember you can't trick me. <laughs> you were frocks for three months straight, nigga. <gasps> you were signed to Frocko fella, nigga. I remember. <laughs> Jay Z took your beat and said, "Give me that beat, fool. It's a full time jack <laughs> I re- You cannot trick me. You can't trick me. I seen it. I lived it. You cannot trick me." He can't, bro. I won't let him. I won't let this nigga trick me no more. I'm tired of this light skinned nigga, bro. Light skinned dust added from Jersey City, man. Get him out of here. <laughs> All right. Uh, that was good. I bet you that felt good. Somebody gotta just yell at Joe Button, man. Yeah, yeah. Somebody still gotta just yell at him. Listen. Yeah. Yo, listen, I see why. No disrespect to men is material. No disrespect. I like those dudes. No disrespect. But I see why Joe like having them on. They suck his dick. Yeah. No disrespect. And by the way, AJ, I fuck with you. You don't like me, I don't think, because. Who knows? I asked you to do a video. You didn't you didn't show up. Like I asked you, I was working on the video. I was like, hey, can you come and do I send a zoom link? You never showed up. Oh, well. But you, you, the, the, uh, the homies uh, from, from the LOL show, like your, your co-hosts, they fuck with us. They, they 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 watch our story. They like our tweets. They they like our videos on IG. They fuck with, uh, like they show love. I show love to they shit. You don't, I don't know. I don't know. You don't know what's going on. I don't know. Maybe, or maybe you just, I'm, I'm, I'm too little for, for you, which would be insane. We're similar sizes. Um, no diddy. But I see why Joe like talking to you. Mm. Cause you don't. You was in that. You was in that space, and I, this not this not me trying to start a new beef because y'all know how much I love to beef with niggas. This is not me doing that. No, that's not you. You, you point out, you get you still shitting on Joe. I'm still shitting on Joe. I'm yeah, still, yeah, this yeah, is about yeah. AJ. It's about Joe. But you mean like you want to protect your relationship with him because he think you 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 think that he can get you far. He he's using you, and I think you and I know I think you think that you're using him too. Don't let him trick you. Like his Dominican bitches. Don't let him trick you like his Dominican bitches from the Bronx, yo. This nigga is a no good lying dust head from Jersey City. Ain't there's not a single good thing to ever come from New Jersey. Why would we think Joe Budden would be the first good export? <laughs> yeah, I had my money on his son before him. Shout out to Trey, yo. He did a freestyle out of this. She was hard. I commented on it. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's my dog. I fuck with him. <laughs> His dad? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Different story. Yeah, his dad. Get, get his dad out of here, man. All right, man. I, I agree with you. Yeah, I mean. Sometimes you got to kill your idols. I'm, if this is going to be the last thing I do, I'm going to kill Joe Budden. Well, hello, party mouth.